In this week's Art Chicago segment, we meet a local artist who's known around the world, but his most recent work is on display right here in Chicago. We begin with the sad breaking news. A global pop icon. Well, this is certainly the sort of news that you don't want to believe is true. Prince took his last breath in his Paisley Park home earlier today. In April, the world mourned the passing of Prince, the Minnesota musical genius who died of an overdose of painkillers. Word of his death left millions of fans around the world in disbelief. For Chicago artist Rahman Static Barnes, it was an opportunity to remember his favorite artist through paint. I felt that Chicago should have a dedication to Prince that met the global standard of street art. And I felt that I was an artist to do that. The reason why I picked Prince and my relationship to Prince is, for one, I grew up listening to Prince. Prince is my mom and pop's uh, favorite musician. Less than 24 hours after Prince's death, Barnes settled on a location in Avalon Park in Chicago's South Side. He put his spray paint cans and brushes to work. I wanted to make him look almost like a saint of music, if you will, or an angel of music. That was the reason why I gave him a halo and the, the wings right there. This mural took uh, approximately uh, four to five days. Ironically, on the final day, I want to finish in this mural during the rain. So I finished a purple rain in the rain. <laughs> Barnes is no stranger to the Chicago art scene. He received formal training at the American Academy of Art, but he started as an artist on the streets of the Windy City. The thing that really took a shift in my personal aesthetic was me being involved with the graffiti movement. I was one of those kids, you know, tagging your trains. I made the transition and making that into a form of art rather than um, destroying someone's property or creating a situation in which I could have some legal consequence. And that decision paid off. These are potential mural layouts. I like sit and render up new ideas or, or concepts for murals. Barnes has now painted more than 300 murals all around the world. I worked with the Museum of Public Art in um, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I worked with the German embassy to do an international project, which I taught high school students from the military base how to do graffiti and, and how to paint. But some of Barnes's favorite pieces are right here in his hometown, like this one in Logan Square on Chicago's northwest side. I'm a resident mural artist for the city of Rosemont. We have projects happening with them right now, which I employ youth from the city of Rosemont to produce murals around the city of Rosemont. As a matter of fact, um, I even did a mural for Chicago Wolves in an all-state arena that's right off the expressway. And I worked with Toyota 2015, in which I painted a 3D ground mural to help sell that car. I actually was painting that mural on Thanksgiving, and I had to meet the deadline of the grand opening of the Garrett's Popcorn around the build-out and construction they had. The first project happened on the um, west side of the building, which is the, the Sharon Handcrafted Happiness Mural, which is um, students reading books with the role around them and how it affects the neighborhood around them. This one was participated in with students from um, Simeon High School and Kenwood High School. So all the images of the young people on here are students from both schools um, participating in the mural. We wanted this mural to really focus in on the youth culture of the neighborhood and for the youth of the neighborhood to see themselves as being productive people in society. Barnes is committed to helping young people learn his craft. This native Southsider wants the world to know there is talent coming from the city's often neglected neighborhoods. There's some intelligent, creative, very ambitious, you know, go-getters from the south side of Chicago, and I'm one of many people that's a part of that. And I represent that uh, way of thinking and that way of life. 